Good morning. I'm trying to make this real quick. Um, I'm heading to work and it is it is November 15th. I decided on the first I would do a like no meat month, a meatless month. And I started doing it because I had different things going on. One of the main things um, being that my blood sugar was pretty high. And, um, well, it wasn't, I don't know for sure if it was high because I didn't go and get it checked um, at my doctor. But I noticed that I was having different symptoms that I generally have when my blood, pressure, my blood sugar is high. And I am pre-diabetic, so I try to manage that quite a bit. Um, so I decided I'm going to cut out meat and fried foods. I did not quite cut out fried foods because I still have like, if I'm out, like I might have like onion rings or jalapeno poppers or something like that. I don't really um, eat fries. Like I try not to eat fries at all. And um, yeah, so those are pretty much the only fried foods I eat. Um, I did, I have been having success as far as weight loss. Um, I don't know if it's because of the me not eating meat or the combination of me not eating meat. Me also drinking kombucha first thing in the morning. Um, and then me walking a lot more at my job, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And it's funny because my last job. I caught public transportation, so I definitely walked a lot. Um, I would walk two blocks from the from the subway, the metro, to my job, and then my job was like downstairs in this building. It was it was a lot, but right now it's like mm, I walk. I drive to my job. I park in front of the door, and then I walk through the building. But you know, it's not that serious. Anyway, this, um, as of, I started this on November 1st, as of November 14th, I am almost not, almost 10 pounds down. Um, yeah, I'm almost 10 pounds down. So I'm nine point something pounds and I am excited about the the weight loss like at first I was just like okay I, I see it on the scale but I wasn't really seeing it in my clothes and then today I put on an outfit that I really wasn't go I really you know how you have that one outfit that you left hanging up like you don't wore all your other clothes you washed them so me I'm lazy and when I wash my clothes I pretty much fold them up, put them in their bag or the hamper, and I put them like in my closet, but not hanging up in the closet. So it was this one outfit that I had hanging up for some time, and it was just like there, and I kept looking at it every day. Excuse me, but I was like, I'm not gonna wear that because the pants, they be like hugging my belly, and um, they not the most comfortable pants like they not bad they don't they not ill-fitting or anything but they like you see all that belly you know and then the shirt kind of like my stomach pokes out when i wear the pants in the shirt combination type thing it's still it's still flattering but you see all of the the flaws if that makes sense i put it on today and like the pants fit super nice like i still got that belly but it's not poking like it was and then my shirt is like laying nicely and i'm just like whoa like, yeah and then also another one as far as like this whole process um my face is clearing up i have not had one breakout like i came on my cycle I haven't had any breakouts. Um, I didn't have any cramps. I never really have cramps, but I do have like, well, they're cramps, but like not traditional, like 
I've had cramps, cramp cramps before, um, twice, but I usually get like where my stomach is just like upset type of situation. Didn't have any discomfort um, caused by my cycle. Didn't have any cravings caused by my cycle. Um, yeah. So, and then uh, my skin, my cycle was pretty good. The, the, I went down, <laughs> I went down the dress size. So, yeah, that was, that was another thing. Like, I am wearing a dress. I, I went to the store and I was like, I'm gonna get, um, this, this size. So, if you know, um, if you big, if you're a big girl, period, you know that depending on what store you're at, uh, the, the cuts are different, right? So, like, whereas I might wear a 22 at a traditional big girl store, like, I might wear a 26 or a 4X somewhere else, or I might wear a 2X, like, it all depends, right? So, Ashley Stewart is cut rather small, like... Ashley store, yeah, Ashley store is cut small. It depends. Like some um, clothes are cut really nicely and some clothes are not. So I ended up getting some clothes from Ashley Stewart. I went down one dress size on the outfit and I was like, I'm just get this outfit because it's on it's on sale and um, like if it don't fit, it's cool. Like I'ma just lose the weight and try it on and then you know it'd be all right right got home put it on sis got in there like i was like oh my god right so then i had bought another outfit and this outfit i really really wanted it um it's really cute it's like a sweat sweatsuit i had to get a size smaller in the pants and then two sizes smaller in the top because those are the only sizes they had available and I fit them both nicely. The top, I was so shocked. Um, I was able to zip it up. And I had weight loss surgery five years ago, six years ago. I had weight loss surgery March of 2015. So I lost about 100 pounds. And in that process, I was down and still wasn't wearing the size that I'm wearing now like and I was a lot smaller like I was 30 pounds smaller than I am now and I think I was just at that size so I'm trying to get back to where I was um yeah because I had gained I gained almost 50 pounds it was weird too because it was like I didn't notice it um, but yeah, I gained about 50 pounds and I've lost another at this point. Hold on, I need to redo my math because I'm. Yeah, I've lost. Yo, I don't know. So anyway, I'm just going to move on. When I do another update of how this whole um, diet change is going, then I'll have more accurate uh terms for you but yes i just wanted to share that and okay i just wanted to share that much i'm on my way to work and yeah